football season is upon us. Football is the most watched sport in the country. It's also one of the most grueling sports. It takes a lot out of you, mentally and physically. For those that decide to embark on this journey, they have to be willing to sacrifice. Sacrifice their time, sacrifice their mind, and sacrifice their body. All for the love of the game. Because trust me, in order to make it to the end, you have to love this game. You have to bleed, you have to pay the price, and sweat on this field to wear that uniform on Friday night. The season is long and it's unpredictable, full of ups and downs, twists and turns. Last year's Eagles team, they experienced it all. The highest of highs at 5-0, undefeated, untouchable. It's Menendez throwing it deep. Who's got it? No one else but Nathan Pascarelli. Touchdown, Eagles! And then they tasted that bitter taste of defeat for five straight games. El Segundo unfortunately drops to 5-4, and 0-4 oh in the Pioneer League. A lot of those players have moved on and graduated, and a new flock of Eagles are ready to take flight. These Eagles are young, but hungry, and they have a blank page awaiting to write their own story. And their story begins now. This is Quick Hits, Eagles football season preview. Training camp's been good. It's been hard, you know, it's been tough. We're doing a lot of running, which is good. You know, we need to get into condition. Um, it's been good to bond with my teammates. I've grown close with a lot of the younger sophomores and stuff, so that's nice. Oh, it's been great. I mean, I really love it. I, I always love this atmosphere and like uh, the morning uh, weights and all that. And I, I really just enjoy it. It's really fun to do. I had to do a lot of training because I had to lose a lot of weight because that was my uh, flaw last year. I was 245 last year, but uh, this year I'm 220. It's been great. I've been doing a lot of work, getting in. The off, the off season was great. We lifted every day. We even lifted in the morning, five in the morning. So we was lifting two, 300 pounds. The team chemistry is really good. We, we really have a great bond. Um, Everyone's prepared to work and just battle for, for each other, and I'm just really excited for this for this upcoming season. I love watching er, and, and, and being a part of this team. It's early Sunday mornings when nobody wants to get up. We're out there just trying to put our work in for this for the upcoming season. We started in the spring. We had a couple weeks in the spring, a couple weeks off for um, graduation. Then we did a five-week stint over the summer, kind of get them ready without helmets on, and then it was great to get them, see the helmets come out. It feels like football now. Our greatest glory is not in never failing, but in rising every time we fall. You know, it was tough mentally for all of us, um, but I just take away that we can't let our foot off the pedal. You know, we need to continue to, to improve and we can never be satisfied. I felt like we were pretty satisfied going 5-0 at the start of the year, thinking that was good enough to make it to the playoffs, but we found out real quick that it wasn't and that these other teams in our league are much better. So we just need to come out, we need to have that competitive, that competitive play, and we'll do well this year. Just a little bit more discipline and remembering what we have to do. Just stay and focus on the game. Yeah, those were, those were definitely uh, t tough losses, but um, it's definitely motivation, more motivation to, to keep going. Like this year, like, like keep going, put our, our foot, foot on the pedal, don't, don't let up. And uh, um, it, it was a, it's a learning lesson. Like we all know we can be this close, you know? So uh, this year I think we're all hungry more hungry. You know, for us, it's a, it's a depth thing at El Segundo, and it's an always a depth thing, and this year it'll be the same. You know, we, we have 40 or 50 truly dedicated guys every single day. They're working hard, um, but that discipline is what we need to do to win those extra couple games. Because, you know, you win one game last year, we're in the playoffs. Um, we get that one game, that one North Torrance, that one play, We get, you know, and it, it always doesn't come down to one play, but for us, if we can put that together discipline-wise, and these guys can string it together for 10 games, we can get ourselves in the playoffs. These Eagles are ready to soar into the season with some new and familiar opponents on the schedule. Um, I'm excited for North again, you know. Last year, 
Um, we had that heartbreaking loss in the last minute, so when we play North this year, I'm hoping that we come out on top and play hard. I really like playing the Torrances because they're, they're really big and they're really good at what they do. So I, I like the challenge because a lot of the linemen there are really big and they know what they're doing. I hope I marry Star. Uh, they hit Leo in the second half very late in the game. It was after the play. So uh, heads are going to be rolling in that game. I'm just ready for that. Mary Star, it's, there's been back and forth there too, uh, especially with that late hit. I know some of my offensive line guys are going to try to get, get a little retaliation from you, I would like to say. But it's going to be a pretty game. It's going to be at home as well. We don't have to drive out there at 3 o'clock in the afternoon in the blazing heat, so it's going to be pretty well for us. Samo, first game of the season. I'm, 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 I'm really excited to play Samo. I don't know why. I'm, I've just heard great, great things about that team, and I just wanted to want to see how we pair up against Samo. Schedule I feel good about. Santa Monica is a good game for us. I think that's a big school, really good start for us. Uh, Redondo is a really tough game for us in the preseason. Don't know a lot about Arroyo, one of the games this preseason, and then back to Mary Star and some of those other ones we've played a long time. I'm excited about those preseason games. I think we have some opportunities to make some uh, some big opportunities coming up. And then the, the league, you know, Torrance is always a good matchup for us. Um, they have a lot of good, good coaches over there, a lot of talent, um, but we're excited about seeing um, how that shakes out. Lawndale's going to be another tough. Seems like they're kind of reloading again. Um, but, you know, we're going to go out there, we're going to fight, we're going we're gonna to see what we're made of. But um, we have a chance to get in those top couple spots and get ourselves in the playoffs for sure. The goals are set high for this Eagles varsity football team. The goal for this season is to make the playoffs. You know, we have a lot of young talent, and I think we'll be great in the upcoming years. This year, you know, we have a lot of sophomores, so I'm, I'm hoping we make the playoffs for my senior year. I'm going to give it all that we have, and I'm sure everyone else does too. Hopefully go, get going better than 5-5, five and five, that's for sure. I'll make, make it a playoff run, but we'll see where we go. We're going to come out ready to, re ready to fire, ready to hit, and, and just ready to go to battle for, for each other. Just, just coming out there to win. So I'm excited to see if we can get ourselves into the playoffs. And then, you know, you never know what happens there. You give yourself a chance and win a couple games here and there and see if we can make a little bit of a run in the playoffs. You don't see a lot of young guys in El Segundo get the opportunities they're going to get this year. And then also see a lot of the older guys Brett Abitante, Jeremy Hoover, a lot of guys going both ways. So I think they're going to see a uh, real gritty football team that's really excited to kind of grind and, and kind of sneak up on some people this upcoming season. Some people don't get that in, in school that, well, why are you guys so close? It's just, it's just spending all this time together in the heat and kind of forcing ourselves to do this together and pushing ourselves and pushing each other. It's kind of just like a big old family out here. The long hours have been put in. Now it's time for the bright lights. It's time for Eagles football.